Back on Morning Drive and for our Golf Channel Academy Coaches Series, we're pleased to welcome Kyle Morris, owner and the director of instruction at the Golf Room Indoor Training Studio in Dublin, Ohio. And Kyle recently was named the Golf Digest list of the 100 best young teachers <clears throat> in America. It's been a real pleasure yeah. to get to know you yeah. this morning. And I'm right. looking forward to hearing yeah. what you've got to talk about. You're going to talk about flighting wedges, controlling the trajectory of wedges. And one of the things for people out there, they think tour players and really good players, they hit everything really high with the wedges, and the best simply don't do that. Yeah. Why? So basically, you know, what, what we're going to do is talk about that low-flighted wedge that Love has it. tons of spin, right? Mm -hmm. Everybody, especially like the junior golfers that are like, give me spin, I want spin. So what we need to do is, first, I want to talk a little bit about why we want to do that, right? And then talk about how. So if I was going to take a ball, right, and I was going to take this ball and, and throw it into a bucket like at the screen, I would take the ball and I would kind of throw it and it would have like a little bit of an arc to it. I would not take the ball and like chuck it 500 feet in the air in, in, in hopes of trying to land Yeah, that. you got no idea how far right. it's going to so, go. So we can agree that kind of a flatter angle, kind of like shooting a free throw, would be a lot better for controlling distance. So that launch angle of what that ball is coming out with, like if we were measuring it on about golf or with TrackMan, that launch angle would be at about 25 to 30 degrees, which is much lower than what the amateur thinks. Yep. Right? We want to keep this ball, like, under 50 feet. I did a show with David Duvall earlier uh -huh. this year, and he said the key to wedge play for him is to hit his wedges as low as he possibly yeah, can. Yeah, I, I teach my, like, my juniors and my, my amateurs back in Dublin, Ohio at the golf room. I teach them to basically hit it as low as you can and then work it up from there. Yeah. So, so, you know, it's kind of like if you had a cannon like this and you, you had it pitched at 25 degrees, if this cannonball was firing out, you could start to calibrate the distance of how far the cannon, the, the ball went. But if that thing was changing pitches, it would be really, really hard. So we need to get this thing launching out at the right angle every single time. And then from there, we can start to calibrate the distance. So when I was playing, um, when I was playing competitively on tour, one of my, my swing coach was Mike Bender, who teaches Zach Johnson, and we all agree that Zach Johnson is mm -hmm. one of the best in the game. So I had the luxury of practicing with Zach and working with wedges. And what was really, really interesting, and I've got kind of a display here to show, is that when Zach hits a wedge, right, his club path, which would be illustrated by this outer bar, comes in at 10 degrees from the inside, which is quite a bit, mm -hmm. right? Um, and his face angle is one degree open to the target line. This ruler would be representing the target line looking at the flag. So he's hitting that ball from the inside at 10 degrees with the face closed to the path but kind of open to the target line and his angle of attack is four degrees down which it is down so he's taking a little divot but four degrees down with with a wedge is not much because most amateurs when they hit wedges right they they take it back they kind of come over the top they take big gouging divots the ball rides up the face and then they they go up and they they pick up their divot and then they put it back, right? Yeah. Means they got to lift those divots with two hands. So. And they're also probably not grabbing their putter because that <laughs> ball hadn't hit the green. Right. So would you hit one yeah, for me? Yeah, yeah. So, so what we're going to try to do is I, I've, I've got a little feedback drill here because we need to make sure that when we're practicing, we actually practice with perfect practice so that you guys can be your own coach, right? So, so what I've done, you guys could use an alignment stick or a noodle, but um, what you're going to do is you're going to set this noodle up at about you know, a foot or so above the ground, and it's about three or four fingers from the shaft. And then I'm going to take a big step in a straight line. So when I hit this, I'm going to put the ball kind of off my right ear, a little bit more back in my stance. I'm going to feel like I'm hitting it from the inside, and I'm going to kind of pick it. So if I almost forehead it, that would be like a, like a good thing. So, so here's the wedge shot. And you can see that ball's kind of working towards the flag and then coming and then spinning back. I mean, so that ball's working towards, we're trying not to over curve the line so that the chance, it has like a chance of going in, kind of like when Zach made that wedge against Tiger at, you know, when he hold Oh, yeah, yeah, who can't forget that one? But so, so you're coming in shallow. Right. And, and, and like Zach, he's swinging out to the right, the club face is closed relative to that line, so that produces that little right, right. low draw. Right. And that helps you really dial in the distance. Yeah, yeah, and you're trying to kind of pick it just right off the top. I love that stuff. Wonderful. Yeah. I, I know, Thanks. folks, get a wedge in your hand, right. head out to the practice seat, head out to the practice seat and work on that. You'll find that you are a much better wedge player if you can sort of hit it in there low like Zach. But, Kyle, thanks for the great instruction. And we'll be posting new tips with Kyle all week long on the Golf Channel Academy Facebook and Twitter pages. And to book a lesson with Kyle or find a coach near you, go to GolfChannelAcademy.com.